everyone, Sabrina here from Scrappy Tales Crafts and today I will be showing you my first February design team project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. For this month I chose this Pink and Main stamp set, it's called Quality Friend and it has an Australia theme to it and it showcases a few famous Australian animals. I did create two cards using this stamp set, so for card one you can see I die cut this rounded rectangle die from a white Nina panel that I cut to four by five and a quarter inches. I die cut that towards the top left corner and the die that I'm using is by Daris, but I'm not going to link it just because I really don't like these dies. They stick to my plates and it's difficult to peel them off, so a lot of the times it rips my paper. So I'm going to find something similar and I will have that link down below. You can see I'm also going to die cut some leaves. These are by Memory Box. I'm going to die cut them from some light green and some darker green cardstock. And then I'm going to work on my stamping and coloring. So I chose a few images from the stamp set and I'm going to color them up with my Copics. I did stamp them with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink onto some white Nina 110 pound cardstock. I really like this cardstock for alcohol ink blending. So I will have the caps off to the side in case you want to color your images like mine. But when I color with my Copics, I always start with my darkest color and then I map out my shadow areas and then I go over those dark areas with my mid-tone color. So that is what I'm doing right now. And I'm leaving quite a bit of room for a highlight. I think I use four colors, which I normally do three, but I left such a big highlight that I decided to add in one more marker. So here I'm going in with my lighter marker, which in this case is another mid-tone. So I'm just going to extend that color, but I'm still leaving a little bit of white towards the center of the koala's face. And I'll go over that white area with my lightest marker. And then I kind of go over the entire image and try to blend all the markers together. For the koala's ears, I'm going to add some R20 as well as to his cheeks. So you guys have seen me color quite a few times. I'm going to discuss why I chose this stamp set and I was really excited to see a Australia themed stamp set because I thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about what's happening in Australia. I'm sure you guys know of the bushfires that are still happening in Australia. They've calmed down quite a bit, but there's still definitely some fires. And I thought that this video would be perfect to not only bring awareness of the issues happening in Australia, but to also discuss the impacts the fires have had on Australian wildlife. As I was coloring these adorable images, I couldn't help but wonder how badly these animals were impacted by the fires and unfortunately, especially koalas have been impacted. It's estimated that 8,000 koalas have died and that makes up about 30% of the koala population and all of their habitats are completely destroyed. So. It is so sad to read about this. I'm not sure about kangaroos, but I do know that they have also been impacted and over 1 billion animals have been impacted by these fires. So I also read that 27 million acres have been burned, 2,000 households have been burned to the ground, and at least 20 people have died so far. So I am going to link down below to some different relief organizations below. Uh, some of them are going to be aiding victims as well as firefighters. And then there's going to also be a few wildlife rescue organizations that basically use your donation money to rehabilitate some of the hurt animals that they were able to save. They're also going to provide them with food and water so hopefully in the future they can release them. So I'm very passionate about anything that's related to climate change and this is a prime example. It is devastating to see the images online and to see the videos. I hope to one day visit Australia and I hope that I can see these amazing animals one day. And I actually went to school to work for the 
environmental protection agency. So I'm extremely passionate about anything related to climate change. So that is basically why I chose this stamp set. It is really adorable, but I really wanted to talk about this issue. And hopefully, if anyone is interested, you can donate some money to different organizations. I think I included the Humane Society of Australia. And like I said, they're going to be trying to rehabilitate the rescued animals, but I'll also have some relief funds for the victims and firefighters. I will also leave links to the articles that I found most of the information from in case you want to read up more about this topic. I thought that they were really interesting. So I loved how the stamp set had a heart-shaped Australian flag. So I will use that flag on one of my two cards. And if I have a Australian subscriber out there, please let me know. I'd be happy to send you these two cards. Okay, so for card one, I wanted to do some ink blending. I'm taking some Lucky Clover Distress Oxide ink and a Trinity Stamps blending brush here. And I'm just going to add some of this onto a white Nina panel. This is just a scrap piece of paper that's a little bit larger than that window I cut out earlier. You can see on the top of this panel I'm adding Twisted Citron, trying to create a seamless gradient here. And I like how that looks, so I'm going to clean up my glass mat and then take my spray bottle and spray on some water splatters. Okay, and then I'm going to bring back that white panel I die cut out earlier. And then I'm going to stamp out my sentiment. I chose you're a quality friend and quality is koala tea. I thought that was really cute. And I did stamp that with the Lucky Clover Distress Oxide ink. And now I'm going to take those leaves that I die cut out earlier and I'm going to just randomly glue them on top of this green ink blended panel. I am attaching them with my art glitter glue. And you can see I'm adding that white panel over the ink blended piece just to make sure that my leaves are being shown. I also went ahead and placed my koala where I wanted it to go. And that also helped me to know where to glue my leaves. So I had a few scraps left over, so I'm going to cut them down into single leaves and then I'll just attach those to the sides of the ink blended piece. I also tucked two of the darker green leaves underneath the koala's ears. And I like how that looks, so of course this is a window card, I'm going to add acetate. So I will just attach the acetate with my art glitter glue and then trim off the excess with my scissors. And you can easily create a shaker card. I kind of wish that I did because I had the perfect pink and main sequin pack I could have used. But I just decided to make it a flat card. So I'm going to glue that ink blended piece behind the acetate. I only added glue to the areas that weren't being shown on the acetate. Okay, and then I'm going to pop up my koala with some foam tape. And I did overhang him a little bit so his ear is hanging off the window. I thought that was cute. And then just to finish this card, I'm going to sprinkle a few sequins. And this sequin pack is by Pink and Main. It came in one of their crafty courtyard kits. So here I'm just kind of picking out the ones I want to use. I chose the green and the gold ones. And for some reason, I do not like the holes on sequins. So I'm going to take some green Nouveau drops and create little dots over those holes to cover them. I decided to mat this panel onto some dark green cardstock and that will cover 
my entire A2 card base, so I'll just attach that with some ATG tape. I made sure to add the tape to the card base since my Nouveau drops were still wet. So here's a close-up. I think this card ended up looking really cute. I love the green colors. So for card two, I'm ripping up some scrap paper and I'm making sure to trim off those sharp ends so that they kind of look like flat rocks. And that's kind of going to create a landscape for me. So I'm going to work on the sky. I'm taking some Candied Apple Distress Oxide ink and a Picket Fence Studio blending brush here. And I'm going to create a sunset. So now I'm going to add, I forgot what this color is, some orange ink. And then at the top, I will add some Squeeze Lemonade Distress ink. I don't have the oxide, so I used regular Distress ink for the yellow. For the bottom, I decided to use, I think this is frayed burlap. And I didn't have a mask for the sky, so I'm trying to use the same one I used to create the sky. And it kind of worked. I had some splotchy areas, some patchy areas, but I will use my stamped images to cover that. So now I'm going to grab my fussy cut images here and kind of lay them out to create a desert scene or an outback scene, I guess. I'm going to move one of the cacti off to the right next to the kangaroo. And I like how that looks, so I will attach these with art glitter glue and foam tape. But first I'm going to work on my sentiment. I'm going to use the heart flag to complete my sentiment. There was a sentiment in the stamp set that says I love Rue and instead of stamping the love I just stamped the I in the Rue and I put the flag heart in the center and I didn't like how it looked stamped on that sunset so I'm going to white heat emboss it onto some black cardstock instead. So I made sure to leave a gap between the I and the Rue that way I can place my heart in between the two words. So I'm just going to go ahead and heat set that, trim that out with my scissors. I am going to flag both ends. And then I'll just place that right over the one that I stamped out earlier. I'm going to add foam tape behind this sentiment. And then for the heart, I'll just glue it right on to that banner. I decided to pop up my kangaroo here. And then, like I said, some of them I'm going to glue directly onto the card panel with my art glitter glue. For the cactus, I'm going to glue one down, and then I'll add foam tape to the one that's overlapping the other one. And that will complete my cute little scene here. I think that this card would be really great as a one-layer card. I'm personally not a huge fan of making them, but I can really appreciate the time and work it takes to create a one layer card. And I think that this scene would be really cool. All right, so you can see that I matted that on top of some black cardstock, and then I just adhered that onto my card base. And then I'm going to pull out those same sequins I used on my last card and just sprinkle some of the gold ones around this scene. I felt that the top right corner needed something, so I think the sequins really helped to fill in that area. And I'll just attach those with my art glitter glue. And that will complete my second card. I'm going to show you the koala one I made earlier. 
This stamp set is available at the Not Too Shabby shop. If you use code N2S10 at checkout, you can get 10% off your next purchase. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you haven't yet already, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell in case you want to be notified when I post a new video.